The game of the week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialist. Romanto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. Casasa, free checking that pays. Now available at Claremont Savings Bank. And Echo Communications for all your printing needs. And LaValle Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here where Fall Mountain leads 49 to 14 over Hillsboro Deering. We're just about ready to start the fourth quarter of action. Tune in every week for the River Valley and Kearsarge Chronicles, the who, what, where, and when shows of our region. They premiere at 7.30 p.m. every Tuesday and Thursday, right here on YCN, your local view. Fall Mountain, and once again, nicely done passing it, but Lupa not able to convert from inside. And we'll go back to Hillsboro Deering, but a sloppy pass there, knocked away by Dearborn before it goes out of bounds. Now we do have the running clock. It's the 35 point lead in the fourth quarter. Beach with the shot, no good. It'll be rebounded by Almond. Nice pass yeah. there, and Ella Stewart almost makes the adjustment mid-air, grabs the ball and averts the, def the defender and puts it in. 51-14 now the lead for the Wildcats. Yeah, very nice pass by Almond. Very unselfish team, this Wildcat team. Always finding the open player for the easy shot. They haven't had to take a lot of low-quality shots because the open player has always been there and the pass has always been there. This Fall Mountain team, very impressive. Most of the night, they've kept Hillsborough Deering out on the perimeter, except for a couple times, but most of the night, we've seen that perimeter defense just be pesky enough, and there's Ella Stewart coming up with another steal. She's had a successful night, and just like that, she tries to steal it back, but it will stay with the Hillcats, saved along the sidelines. Nobody can quite contain the ball. <laughs> if your business is interested in advertising on YCN or you'd like your team to be televised, give us a call or email us at, it, at, at info at ycnnow.com. Tipped away there by Grace Bushway will stay Hillcat basketball. Once again, that pressure out on the perimeter, just too much for the Hillcats to deal with. They have not been able to penetrate at all tonight. And when you take those low, low quality shots, as you mentioned, that Fall Mountain hasn't had to take many of, but Hillsborough Deering has really suffered uh, from some of that outside shooting. They trail 51-14. Fall Mountain a couple passes and Stewart puts it up, no good. Rebounded by the Hellcats. They'll come away with it, take, take some time. Set up their offense in the half court. Five minutes to go in the game. Morgan Racine now with the ball and just before or just as she passed it, foul on Ella Stewart. That'll stay with the Hillcats. Stay tuned at the end of our telecast for the HR Clough Kearsarge Heating Oil turning up the heat player of the game when we'll pick the top performer in tonight's matchup. Hillcats get it into Veach. She's covered nicely there by Craig. She has to kick it back out. Nicole Mooney over to Clo on the perimeter being guarded closely by Grace Bushway. And there's Ella Stewart coming away with the steal. One on two. Ella Stewart's going to go up for it anyway. But before the shot... 
Foul on the floor. We'll take a timeout. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here on the call. Fall Mountain leading 51-14 to over the Hillcats of Hillsborough Deering. Our replays are being brought to you by Kasasa. Free checking that rewards in cash each month. Ask for Kasasa at Claremont Savings Bank. Qualifications and rules apply. See Bank for details. Member FDIC. Nice tip there by Nicole Mooney to steal the ball away and go back to the Hillcats. Shot up, no good, in and out. Great effort there by Kirsten Klo. Just wasn't able to get it to fall. And then the break goes the other way. Chris Abella Craig with the basket. Full timeout on the floor will take a TV timeout as well. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. We're back here on the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, 53-14. Fall Mountain leading Hillsborough Deering here in the third quarter. Stay tuned at the end of today's gridiron matchup for the Ramonto's Brick Oven Pizza play pick of the game. Ramonto's Pizza always fresh. Stolen away there, and the fast break is slowed down by Maddie DiBernardo. Looked like she might have a chance, but she elects to take it out and set up the offense, and then that's stolen away by Hillsboro Deering before the foul is committed, and it'll stay with the Hillcats. So coming up on three minutes to go. Tipped out and stolen away by the Wildcats. They'll just swing it around the perimeter, take some clock. There's no shot clock obviously here in high school basketball and the running clock makes this quarter go by even faster. 2.37 to go, 53-14 lead by the Wildcats. Heard with a shot from three, no good, but nice rebound by Veach. And Klo has it. It'll be turned over and it'll go back to Fall Mountain. It looked like Veach was maybe moving, moving her feet a little bit too much on that pick. Refs felt like they had to call it. It looks like the scoreboard is on the fritz. It's been doing that a little bit tonight, yeah. going on and off. It but comes on, and it's exactly correct. So there's right. not a loss of power. It's almost like there's a connection that's lost or something just from the display. Right. Obviously keeping score right at the scorer's table, but want to let the crowd know and the refs know if they're looking up there with the time and the... Uh, bonus situation and possession. Well, Mountain struggling here in the late going to keep a control of the ball. Nicely done. Tossed in by the left-handed shot, Alexis Parker. And that is a beautiful little play there. Kind of just a dipsy do and left-handed toss. Yeah, very nice kind of a hook shot. <laughs> Looked like a kind of a low percentage shot, but she managed to nail it. Come over the paint in the middle. Very nice play. So Hillsborough Deering with the ball, 140 to go, trailing 55 to 14. And it looks like It'll be a, they're gonna have a turnover or they're gonna keep it, it's gonna stay here, Hillsborough Deering, and we'll have some wholesale substitutions for the Hillcats. So I think now, with about a minute left to play, I think it's a good time to choose our HR Clough Kearsarge Heating, turning up the heat player of the game. And I think we have to give it to Ella Stewart, the junior, or excuse me, the sophomore guard for Fall Mountain Wildcats. Tonight she scored 16 points, had a number of assists, rebounds, steals. She was very big in this game. 
I'm sure she will continue to be as the season goes on. And also our Ramontos pizza play pick of the game. There weren't really, there wasn't really one deciding play in this game, but in terms of skill and really impressiveness, I think that hook shot, that left-handed hook shot by Alexis Parker, the senior forward, I thought that was a great play. Probably the possibly the most skilled play of this game. Can't argue with any of those calls. As you mentioned, Ella Stewart having a great game from beginning to end, continuing obviously uh, to dominate all night from the beginning to the end of this game. And then that play, as you mentioned, Alexis Parker. So congratulations to those two players. Just about set here, end of this game as Fall Mount will go to 2-0 and and they will be at home facing Conant in a couple nights. Trying to improve to 3-0. and And a tough, a tough night for the Hillcats. They had a lead late in their first game. They couldn't hold on, but they just were really, they were down 4 nothing, 30 seconds into the game and really, unfortunately, could never dig out of that hole. It just was all Fall Mountain Wildcats from there on out. Yeah, the Hillcats, just the program in general, in a bit of a slump. I don't believe they won a game last year, and they almost won the game played before this one. But clearly, it's a young team, not a lot of upperclassmen, so it makes sense, but Hillcats struggling just a bit. So that's gonna do it, the final horn here from Langdon, New Hampshire, where the Fall Mountain Wildcats defeat the Hillsboro Deering Hillcats 55 to 14. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerheit on the call, and Andrew, a debut season for Fall Mountain at home, our YCN game of the week. We got a, we got a whole season full of these games, and we're going to have a lot of fun this year. Yeah, it should be a great season, and next week we'll be uh, attending the Stevens game in Claremont. Kearsarge Cougars traveling to Stevens. That should be a good game, and uh, yeah, it should be a great season. Looking forward to it. All right, the final score for the final time here from Langdon, New Hampshire. The Fall Mountain Wildcats defeat the Hillsboro Deering Hillcats 55 to 14. Thanks to Greg and Alex for Andrew. I'm Jeremy Stout. The Game of the Week is brought to you by H.R. Clough and Kearse Harge Heating, the home energy specialist. Ramonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. Casasa, free checking that pays. Now available at Claremont Savings Bank. And Echo Communications for all your printing needs. And LaValle Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion.